Hi guys, it's Alex here, the girl with the woohoo tattoo. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be something a little bit different. It's another tutorial and it's a really quick one. I'm going to be showing you today how to add fonts into your system in order to use them in thumbnails, word processing, anything. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. First of all, I've opened up font space, but there are so many different font websites out there. I'll show you a few. We've got 1001 free font. I also like Duff font. I'll put some more links below. And seriously, if you can't find one on one, just Google it and you'll find it somewhere. Trust me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use font space because I like this website the best. I'm going to show you why. First of all, I'm looking for something that's going to be sciencey. So I'm going to type in science and see what comes up. So it's just a matter of searching through here. So we've got the fonts along here. So you just check through what you like, what you like. You can even click to the next page, scroll through everything. But if there's too many and you just can't seem to find what you want, then you can actually go up here to the left. So I really like this. This is kind of like a category filter and it is so much fun to just go on an adventure. Now I kind of want something to look a little bit sciencey. I'm going to look at chemistry, I think, because that's kind of what I want. This molecular one might work. I'm going to try this one. So basically you hover over it and you click download. What that's going to do is it's going to open it up in a zip file, but just open it as a temporary file in your actual zip manager. Well, I'm using 7-zip, but you can use WinZip or Win WinRAR or whatever you've got. So you simply just press OK and open that one up and it's going to bring that one up for you and you're going to be able to get the text, the TTF file and a GIF. Honestly, all you need to look at is this one here, the TTF file. In your PC, you'll need to install this one. So where you need to go is into your C drive, scroll down to Windows and then scroll to Fonts. All you need to do is just click on that folder and it's going to bring up all of your fonts that you've already got installed. Even if you've never installed any, these will be the ones that originally came with your computer. So all you need to do is highlight this one and drag it into your folder. That's going to install that. So then when you go next into your Photoshop, as you can see, I'm actually editing a thumbnail right now, hence why I needed to find something sciencey for this one. And all you need to do is just find where that one was. And it was called Molecular. There it is. So basically that's your font. So you can now change that as you please. So, I mean, I, I've already changed it to make it look really cool, but what we can do is just bring it down a little bit because it's a little bit too much for me. Now, if you are having trouble, all you need to do is close that program and then reopen it and it should be there. So there's heaps of different options. There's thousands and thousands of different fonts out there. And sometimes you might download one that has different options it might have. Um, it might have a bold section and an italic section. So then you can use the normal bold and italic or even like a, a stretch or a fluffy one or something like that. And if you actually mix them together, you can create really, really pretty thumbnails. And yeah, it's just really, really fun to go and just explore all these ones. And don't forget, even if you wanted a certain kind, you can even get things like Harry Potter, Disney. You can even get video game stuff. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please hit the like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to write below or you can always tweet me at woohoo Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like any more hints or tips, please let me know and I will do a video on it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.